Hi everyone, we've got a bee today on a nice lavender flower. So we're going to have, um, it's a nice simple one, nice and loose. Um, and it's going to be really looking at the flow of paint today. So I've sketched out the shape of the bee and the wings and a rough idea of where this lavender is. Colours wise, I've got raw sienna. Separate to that I've got a tiny touch of gamboge. You could use cadmium yellow as well. Then I've made a purple with permanent rose and cobalt blue. I've got cobalt blue on its own. I've got sap green on its own. And then I've got a mixture of ultramarine and burnt sienna. More ultramarine than burnt sienna so you're getting that really nice dark black colour. That's the only one out of all of them that I've kept thick, the black. You want to keep that really quite thick, just a couple of drops of water in. The rest are all like wet and wet wash consistency, about a medium consistency. Okay. So I haven't got a full page today. So I'm just going to go with what I've got. Wetting everywhere. first layer on. So you can do a full page if you want or you can fade it out like I'm going to do. Just check my brush is nice and clean because the last colour that I mixed up was that really dark black colour. Okay, so the first one I'm going to come in with is the the purple. So what I'm looking at is where these nice shapes of flowers are in the background. And I'm going to come over this lavender as well. Nice and loosely. So I want this all to flow at this stage. The mix of the colours will make it really nice. It'll start to split out. I'm not going to get bogged down in the detail today. Just a little bit of a rinse. Now I'm just going to touch in with a little bit of cobalt blue in places as well. So focus this cobalt blue on the lavender at the front. Right, I'm into my sap green now. I'm not going to do such a dense background, but what I do need is to have some sort of colour coming through the wings. So to get that transparency, you need that colour coming through. So hence why I'm using a little bit of sap green. It's not mixed well today. I don't mind if it runs onto the bee. I don't want you to worry about that at this stage. You want that softness there. I'm just a few random dabs around this this side. I'm not going mad that side. Let the paint flow. Now I'm going to touch into the cobalt blue again. Just 
just bring a few random dabs of the cobalt blue in just to give a bit of variety in that green the focus is going to be the B so we don't want it to stand out too much you can bring some through on the wing area it's fine I'm just taking a few loose dabs around the bee so it'll help emphasize the fuzziness of the bee later Take a tiny bit more sap green just down here just to break that area up. I missed a bit of water here. I'm just going to take in a bit of water whilst it's still wet and just take a bit of paint on because I don't like that area. Okay, so I'm going to dry that one off. Okay, so once you've dried that off really well, what you're going to do is just wet in the wings. Just so we lift a little bit of this colour. So hopefully you can just see where your wings are, are drawn still. And then just with a bit of kitchen towel you're going to dab off. You can do this a couple of times if you want to. You just want to lift enough that you can see it a little bit better than that definition but it still looks like you've got a background. So I'm just going to come over again with a bit more water. just dab off. So that just makes them a little bit lighter and then I'm going to dry that really well. We need to make sure you dry it really well. Okay so you're going to take a little bit of water now on the bee. Not a huge amount and a little bit just on the wings. It's just going to give you a bit more time. Unless you've gone really small you need that little bit of water just to help. Right so I'm going to come on with um, the raw sienna and spread this through and you can take it all over it's absolutely fine to take it all over Gives it a nice base. So I'm using a number 10 at the minute. I can swap down to a number 6 when I'm ready. So number 6, I've just dabbed it off dry and I'm coming into that dark black colour. Now the key here is to come in in an area where you know it doesn't matter if it's going to flow too fast. So that you've just got a gauge of how much it's flowing before you start. You want to try and keep that fuzziness
keep loading your brush up so you've got plenty of colour And I don't want you to worry too much about the detail at this stage. You're just getting that nice fuzzy effect. I'm going to come towards these edges again. Now you want to wet your wash brush. And I'm just going to touch in here. So I'm touching where the paint is. I'm not moving the paint, but I'm wetting further than that. You could do this with a round number 10 as well. The wash brush is, brush is a little bit more delicate. Okay, so I've just realized I've gone over a bit of the wing here. So I'm just gonna dab a bit of this out whilst it's still wet because it would be hard to get it out otherwise so I'm just dampening just to get that little bit out there so you can see that this has started to blend it's still nice and damp if you find it doesn't blend then you can take a little bit in like this and you'll see it just start to blend. It's gone nice and fuzzy on that edge there. And again down here. So again, I'm just touching this bottom area, but wetting further than it needs to go so that I get that fuzzy effect happening. Take a little bit more in. Just help to define that edge there a bit. I need to make this fuzzy here. So again, a little bit of paint. And then some nice clean water just touch it in. If it's too wet, just dab a little bit off with the brush again. If it's not wet enough and you want it to flow a bit more, then you can send it out like that with a little bit of extra paint. So you're in control. Again, I'm just going to do a little bit around this bit. It's not quite as fuzzy, but I want a little bit there. You want it to feel like a fuzzy bee. Take a little bit more down this bottom section. Bit more here. Just going to touch that area there. And round number ten, nice and dry. I'm going to lift out a little bit of a leg here. some sort of lighter area just to start to help shape that so just keep dabbing on the kitchen towel lifting out that little bit now I just want you to have a look and see if there's anything that needs to be a bit darker before it dries you can take a little bit more in 
if you can leave this to dry naturally it'll work much better if you can't don't worry it just fades a little bit just bring a bit of dark around here just to help to define that You've also got a last chance here to, if you want to put any, uh, so if you want to put a bit of more vibrant yellow in on the, so I'm just taking in a little bit of gamboge just on this front section of the B. Cadmium yellow, you want it to not be too green, the, the new gamboge just tend to be a bit green, so this is the old style, so if you want to use a bit of cadmium yellow, that's usually a bit better. Right, I'm going to dry that one off then. Okay, so that's nicely dried now. So what you can do is come in and do the the legs. So I've got a rigger, but you can use a rigger or a line writer. And you're just coming on to dry now. You can just pop this shape in. In the same way, with a clean damp brush, if you want it to to soften in any places, you can come along with a bit of water. So that was with my round number six and just some clean water just slightly dabbed off. Get this one just here. So if you vary the pressure of the, the brush, you can get a really nice, nice line. A little bit of something here. And then you can just flow it if you want to flow it at that point. Flow down this side. goes a bit too far and just dab it back in and again just flow a little bit along there Again, touch damp brush and do the top side this time. Flow down there. Right, I'm coming back to this side because this one's gone a bit too array. Just give that a little bit of a. So I'm just going to darken this this one again. load a little bit too much but I can work with it. I'm just going to soften in that side there. It's just helping to bring out that that leg. Okay. So for the wings, I've taken a teaspoonful of gum arabic into some grey. So I've got like a nice watery grey now. If you haven't got gum arabic, don't worry. Just do it without the gum arabic. Just make a watery grey. Now this is on to dry. I'm going to paint it onto the wings. The 
Kormum Arabic just means that it's going to give it a bit of a sheen and there's a chance that we can lift it a little bit easier if we need to. It's a bit of an experiment that I'm doing now. And then I'm going to pop some clean film over the top. So I've got two squares of clean film. I'm going to pop them on and then I want to scrunch them a little bit. I want to try and get some of those lines in the wings. Just be careful and scrunch them inwards rather than outwards. You don't want to send the gum, gum arabic everywhere. So be gentle, pop it on and then scrunch inwards so you get some lines. You can try just pulling it a little bit if you want to. Hopefully that's going to give some texture. So I'll let that one dry. Whilst that's drying off, I need to let that dry naturally. I'm going to come in and just do this lavender a bit more. So I'm going straight on to dry and this is with the purple colour. And we're going to start to pull these shapes out. I want to keep this nice and loose. If it looks a bit dark in places I'm going to add some water and as it dries that will look lighter. So I'm using my round number 10 to apply the paint. Just getting these areas where the flower, lavender flowers are coming out first. And again, a bit of water. Drop in a bit of water again. can touch a couple of places if you want to to make it flow a bit so it's all nice and loose today dry that off okay so I've just started to do a few of these and dry them off as I've got along um, so what I want you to do is to come in with a little bit of raw sienna where you can see the lavender is a little bit raw sienna coloured at the ends in places and then you're going to use the purple you can use a hint of the green and you're just popping the shapes in really come this way keep it nice and loose dry as you go along so that you it doesn't all blend into one you have these different shapes you see I'm leaving a tiny little little gap there between those two so that it doesn't all blend into one So you can do this in section by section if you want to. The trick is to get those colours in whilst it's still wet. So don't feel you've got to do as many as me in one go. You can do a few, stop, then do a few more. I'm just trying to do it a bit speedier so you can come in with a little bit of the green in places if you think green can be where the shadow is that's always quite useful you can dab in a little bit of the blue and that will give a bit of variety you just really want this to be loose the focal point is definitely the bee you want the bee to to stand out So 
I'm using my number six to dab in some of these colours. So this is a little bit of the cobalt blue going in. Just randomly and I'll add a little bit of the green gone in. Then you can give it a quick dry. So I've just given it a quick dry. You can come in and just create a few little bits more. So this is just the a number six. And a little bit of the purple. I'm just filling in some of the gaps that I've left really. Can add a little bit of the blue in places. I want it to be a bit darker that's quite useful And a little bit of the green. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that. Now dry that off. Okay, so I've taken a couple of dabs of rose in places, just the bottom, just to to lift it a little bit and then I've peeled the clean film off um, you can really see it's had an effect it could have been slightly better so what I'm gonna do and you can still do this even if you haven't used the gum Arabic is just come in with a bit of water and we're gonna paint some lines and hopefully that should lift some of this color out the grey and make it a bit better. Just let it sit a minute while I do the other side. You can either lift out the lines or you can lift out areas that you want to be a bit lighter. It's up to you. Just try and give this a dab. You can see that it's lifted that out nicely. I'm just going to take a little bit more up here. So it looks more wing like to me now, see through wing like. You can continue to fiddle with it to get little bit more little bit more off you see it lifts really well That's worked really nicely. Take a little bit more off this side. It's one of them things you can continu continue to fiddle with. That's good. So that's it, all done for today. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next week. Bye.